You have just installed the 2010 guideline compliant HeartSign Samaritan PAD. Now let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. Are you alright? Get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Go call 911, go get the AED. Press the green on button. The device will automatically identify an adult or pediatric patient based on which pad pack has been inserted. Adult patient, call for medical assistance. Did you call 911? Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing. Do not touch the patient. Stand clear of patient. And recommends whether or not a shock should be delivered. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Everybody clear? Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. The combination of CPR and defibrillation is the best rescue technique you can practice until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation, and the Samaritan PAD will tell you if that is the case in that instance. If CPR is needed, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for two minutes. The devices will provide CPR coaching on how to cross your hands, where to place them, and will include a metronome beat that will coach you on how many compressions to apply per minute. The 2010 AHA guidelines for CPR and ECC once again emphasize the need for high-quality CPR, including a compression rate of at least 100 beats per minute, a compression depth of at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters in adults and children, and approximately 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters in infants. Stop CPR. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Motion detected. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Everybody clear? Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. You're okay. One note for rescuers. The Samaritan PAD can be used while in its protective case or out of it. After using the Samaritan PAD, contact your HeartSign channel partner to purchase a replacement pad pack. Slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines. Periodically, check that the green light is flashing so that you know the unit is ready in case of an emergency. The Samaritan PAD stores up to 90 minutes of heart rate information after use. Use the data cable to download the event data for a physician who may want the information from the device to formulate treatment decisions. The data cable is available from your authorized HeartSign channel partner. After downloading the event data, please erase the data from memory. If you need assistance to do this, contact HeartSign Technical Service. With little or no training, rescuers of any skill level can confidently use HeartSign Samaritan PAD's life-saving technology. With the unit nearby, you are always prepared to respond in the event of someone going into sudden cardiac arrest. HeartSign. Life-saving. Pure and simple.